Here is our bottle bottle. This is the half gallon water bottle. As you can see, it's 64 ounces. So let's do a quick unboxing. We do not have anything else in the box. Let's take off the plastic that it's wrapped in. All right, so first look, I have what looks like a handle. It's really neat that this is covered in an insulated bag. That's cool. I'll take that off for now. And here is our bottle bottle. Now this is supposed to be insulated. You can see her on the top where I can unscrew here to drink out of my water bottle. We open this up. On the inside we see a straw. Looks like some cleaning supplies. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna assemble the entire set and then I do wanna test it out to see how long it will keep ice cold water cold. This part of the handle did not come attached to the lid, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slip it in here and attach it real quick. Now we'll have this nice carrying handle on top of our water bottle. When I first looked at this, I didn't realize that it had a spout to drink out right here, and that makes sense because that's what the straw is for, so I can either use this part or the part where I can pour it out and drink it there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go wash this up with warm water and soap and then test it out. Here we have our bottle bottle full of ice and water. This tells us it's supposed to keep cold for 48 hours to keep ice cold for 48 hours. So we're gonna leave it out here in the sun. So current temperature inside the bottle bottle let's let that go down as low as it can go. Looks as though we're right around 32 degrees. That's probably just because of the ice that's in there. So zero degrees Celsius, about 32 degrees, 33 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna put the lid on and leave this sealed here for the next two days. I actually will check in on it during that time just to see if the ice is still there. I've put the lid back on tight. I should say that the forecast says it's supposed to be sunny and 80 degrees Fahrenheit over the next two days. Not as hot as it normally gets, but back here it always seems a lot Hotter. I will put a thermostat next to this just so we can get a temperature, but here we are, ready to go. We're actually gonna check in at the 12 hour mark because it's a whole lot hotter than we thought it was gonna be. Remember how we said it was gonna be in the 80s? Well, it's actually been, well, it's at 95 now. It got as high as 99 out here. I felt this bottle here and it is really, really hot. I'll get a temperature of that, but let's open up and see if our ice is still in there. All right, let's get a temperature of the outside of the bottle. I don't know if you can see that. It's 136 degrees Fahrenheit or 58 degrees Celsius. Moment of truth. Now, this has only been 12 hours, but we do have a big block of ice still in there. It looks like it's all fused together, but it's still up to the top. I really like that. We're going to check back in tomorrow. Before we go any further, my name is Jeff and this is Jeff Reviews for you. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Every once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that lines up with something you're looking to watch on YouTube, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. I've been releasing videos about one or two every single week. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media. Instagram and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now let's get right back into testing out the bottle bottle. We are officially at the 24 hour mark. I have unscrewed this, but have not looked in. Let's see if we have any ice left. Oh, look, there still is ice. And if we get a temperature reading, we are still very cold. I see 35. And so about one degree Celsius, oh, 34 degrees Fahrenheit. You know what, I'm still impressed. I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like at the 48 hour point. So I completely missed our 36 hour check-in, but here we are at 48 hours. Let's see if we have any ice left. Well, looky there, we still have ice. I'm impressed. Now it's not near as much as when we started, but it has been two days. Very cool. I just finished the test where I had this outside for two days and I completely dried this, but then as I was shaking a little, I noticed that there was the water on the inside, or at least the water sound. And my thought is this spot right here between the top and the bottom is not sealed very well. So water got in it. As actually I was just shaking it and the water came out there. Just something to note that this part right here 
isn't sealed very tight and water can get in. I was pretty impressed with the bottle bottle and the ice test. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Have you tried this before? Would you consider it? And since you're down there in the comment section, post your favorite water bottle that you use. Now, since we've done the ice test, let's try the hot liquid test. Now let's test the hot water part. They say the hot water can stay hot for up to 24 hours. So the temperature of this um, water is about 195 degrees Fahrenheit. There is about an inch between the top and the actual water. I just couldn't fit that much in the tea kettle. If you're Celsius, you're about 90 degrees Celsius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid on and leave it in here in my room for the next 24 hours. The temperature in the room is going to be about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's put the lid on. The next time we're going to open this is going to be in 24 hours. It looks as though we're about 109 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a significant difference since we were, I think, about 190 Fahrenheit when we put the liquid in. So, yeah, is this still warm? Yes. Is it still hot as it was? No, absolutely not. In this video, we were taking a look at the 64-ounce bottle bottle bottle. In my opinion, it's like a mega bottle 64 ounces is huge so what did i think of it well at the posting of this video it retails for right around 35 dollars, and that includes the insulated sleeve that goes around it and i think that's pretty cool and that sleeve is very very handy plus it has all sorts of pouches on the outside or little pockets for you to store other things um i was impressed with the cold water challenge it kept my liquid cold for 48 hours and there was actually still ice in there at the end of 48 hours and that to me was pretty impressive the hot water test did okay it was still over 100 degrees fahrenheit at the end of the 24-hour period but then my thought is man who's going to be leaving this in here for over a day anyway if i'm filling that thing with coffee i'm probably going to drink it throughout the day and it'll be gone by the next day anyway that was just my thought if this is something that interests you i will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. The company talks about using carbonated beverages in here and although you're allowed to, they caution you about when you open this so it doesn't like pop up. So what I like about this is you can actually open this just a little bit, creating some space and letting some of that carbonated air out. So just know, be careful with that. I also wanted to show you the bottle, bottle insulated bag pockets right now. I just have the cleaner for the straw and the straw in here, but you do see that these go around the entire insulated bag. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the bottle bottle. You know what? Not that long ago, I actually reviewed three different bottles and I compared them to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link that one right up here. Now the bottle bottle wasn't part of that. Anyway, I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at that review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.